Okay, hello my darlings. Good afternoon, good evening to wherever you are. Just do a short intro. I apologize for this very impromptu midweek hangout, but this was a sort of an emergency situation where we had a guest, a special guest that was willing to come on, and it's late where she is, so we wanted to do this very quickly. And without further ado, whether you know her or not, this is the one and only, the ex or current wife of Modine, Mona Moon. Say mo hi, Mona. <laughs> hey, everyone. How are you guys doing? <laughs> All right. And, um, oh, it looks like uh, we had another guest, but that guest dropped out because I guess um, he didn't want to. <laughs> he didn't want to be here. <laughs> That's all good. That's all good. Okay. Well, Mona, I don't want to really keep you long. Maybe, hopefully, we'll do another one of these uh, another time when it's a better time for you, because I know there's a big time difference where you are. But my uh, my main questions were about, uh, obviously, you are, I mean, you, know, you can tell everyone, you are Modine's ex or current wife, actually. You're legally still his wife, am I right? Yes, right. So you guys have never divorced. You are legally still married as far as Iraqi law is concerned. Yes, I am okay. still his wife by law only. So so when Modine says to people he is single or he he's looking for a wife, technically he's not single. No, he's not. He's All lying. right. Okay. So uh uh, what do you think about that? I mean, are you are you upset? Is this bothering you in any way? Is he what? Uh, him saying that he's single to women out in the, you know over here in England. Does that bother you? No. Okay, so you you're okay with him just uh, finding another another woman? Before that, he should give me my right. Like he should give me my divorce paper, and he can move on. Okay, okay, I'm so you're more than happy for him here. to divorce you. Yeah. Nice. So, okay, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. So we've established Modine is... I mean, but the thing is, don't you think he's just a big liar, though, when he tells people that he's single because he's, you know, he is still married? Yeah, and denying his own son. And and his son. And, of course, yes, he has a son as well with you. But he's, um, I mean... He doesn't have much of a relationship with his son, does he? I don't know. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's a bit, bit, bit. I mean, would you wish that he was a bit more involved, at least with his son? I tried to put to make him involved more, but he just don't care. All he care about is me. Yeah. Like when he tried to care about his son, he used him to reach me. I see. I see. So he's he's not really interested in. Having a relationship nah. with his son, he's more interested in trying to get back at you. Yeah. I'm with you. Now, there, you know, could you explain to us why, you know, you don't want to be with him anymore? What happened, transpired between you and him? Uh, because I don't want to, I don't want to put words in your mouth. I don't want to, you know, generate uh, anything that could be considered like me uh, giving you what, you know, saying the things you want to say. What happened between yeah. you and him that you want to divorce him? What did not happen, like, every worst thing you can imagine that comes in your head, like, beating me up, humiliating me in front of people. Wow. Uh, like, even beating me in the street, not just in front of the kid, like, every oh, wow. single bad thing, yeah. When when you say beat, uh, how how would you describe? I know this might be difficult for you, so I appreciate anything you don't want to answer. Just say, look, I don't want to talk like about that. Like beating me, punching me, kicking me, pulling me from my hair, smashing my head on the wall. Wow, wow. Okay, so so he was like hitting you quite quite severely. Now, is it true that uh, he broke your like cheekbone and you had to have plastic surgery on your face, nose? Yes. Is that is that yeah. true? I still have it. I still have it. Like, it's always going to stay the scar of the punch. Okay, okay. So you still have the scarring, but you did have to have some plastic surgery on your face? Just one. Just one. Uh, was it on your cheek, nose? This one. Oh, your cheek. Your cheek. Yes. Yeah, yes. That's the, uh, eye one. socket, cheekbone area. You can, see, you can see the scar right here. It's from the punch. He yes. had the scar yeah, on you were the saying. right here. 
punch I see. on his hand. Now, is it, uh, I mean, is he lying when he says it was your brother's? Because he, Modine claims that it was your brother that did this. No, no. My brothers beat me up, true. But he's the one who smashed my face. Okay. Now, when you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to go on about this part. Although it is quite despicable that Modine would do such a thing to a woman. Now, for me, I think that exposing the kind of things Modine did for you to you is to simply expose his behavior because he behaves quite aggressively towards women in in the in the UK. You know, towards uh, women in in the park. He is famous for throwing water on Sophia Lewis. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and he is quite aggressive. You know, generally, and we in the UK obviously we want to protect our women and we want to protect ladies, and so we want to highlight men like him so that women don't sort of go with him basically yeah and that's the main reason why we're we're sort of scared of you know these kind of individuals because we think they're going to harm women because they don't have any respect for women you know they don't they don't care they don't they don't care about beating them up but uh, the other side of things that i want to discuss is he's um and again tell me when when this is uncomfortable and you want to stop and then we will move to another subject but was his sexual habits did did you find that he was you know would you say that he is inclined towards homosexuality he was viagra he liked dildos he likes he was, dildos yeah he likes dildos now he bought three for himself or for you he said he wants to use it on me i said no he took it and then he returned it like three four months after Oh, as in he, he, said he, he returned it. it to the shop? He said he used it once or twice. He used it for himself once or twice? Yeah. Okay, okay. Were well, these large dildos, small? You know, can you describe the size? <laughs> Did they vibrate <laughs> or were they just plastic? Plastic big dildos. Plastic big dildos, ladies and gentlemen. Plastic big dildos. Uh, can you describe the color? <laughs> it's beige. What? Sorry? Beige. Beige? Yeah. Sort of creamy brown? Yes. Okay. So he didn't have a thing about large, big, black dildos then. It was just, just no. a creamy beige. Were they thick, thin? Thick. No. You know what he used to call? What he used to say, he say, if I ever get you to London, you're going to leave me for a big black dick. Oh, you are? That's what he used to say. All right. but Yeah, but... Are there that many big black men in in Iraq? Like, no. So, your chat, your, you know, your options were small. But would he leave you for a big black dick? <laughs> <laughs> it's really the question that we're all wondering. <laughs> no, he already left me for a big black booty. You, you sorry, he did one. He left me for a big black booty. Ah, he always so he... got black porn. Oh, he went for a big black woman. Yes, a prostitute. A prostitute. In so... Piccadilly. I'm oh, sorry, go. Prostitute in Piccadilly. Oh, he picked up a black prostitute in Piccadilly. Okay. Um, does he go often with prostitutes? Yes, London the whole time. Okay, okay. The... the... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, just guessing, really. I mean, these are all alleged, by the way, because we don't actually have Modine here to, uh, to defend himself. So I will preface that these are all uh, uh, Mona's testimony. We don't have, you know, hundred percent evidence of everything, and also Modine. By the way, Modine is uh, welcome to, um, to, to come back and and, and actually uh, defend himself. If he so wishes, uh, the invitation is always open to come on the Banshee Hody Show. Hodin will deny everything, trust me. Sorry? I said Hodin will deny everything. You know Hodin! <laughs> yes, of course, he will deny it. But generally, we it's, it's, it's always fair to give the person an option to defend themselves. But... Uh, you, you are basically confirming that he likes prostitutes and fairly medium to large size beige dildos. 
So yeah. those are, those are the things that we we're just trying to confirm uh, that 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 happened. S- did he like ask you at any time to like put a finger in his ass or anything like that? Yeah. Yes. He did that quite often. To lick his ass to you. To lick his ass. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Was it? Did he generally shower well before or? He's what? Nasty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to get too detailed. No, 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 no details. But okay, so so he does like ass play. Yeah. Generally, okay, okay. That that explains. You see, what I'm trying to establish is whether Modine is actually homosexual, whether he likes, uh, you know, whether he has the habits of a man who likes homosexual acts. You know, things with his ass, things in his ass, that sort of thing. And I'm trying to establish a pattern of behavior because from the day Sophia Lewis, you know, showed up at the park, he was yeah. very interested in her, far more interested than anyone else at the park. And I think this goes to the uh, the heart of this individual's mindset, like what he's thinking what how he likes to behave the problem is he's quite aggressive as well so he has an aggressive side with women so he likes maybe maybe it's because he's gay do you believe that he has homosexual you know like like he's gay on the inside but he's holding it in that kind of thing like he can't show it to outside because people will judge him i see I but, wasn't going to expose him all that, like, not all this private info. But since he started chatting shit on me exactly. and started saying, telling people that I'm lying, well, I'm done. I'm not going to be quiet anymore. Well, He's I mean, denying this was... the punch. Exactly. I mean, he has been saying that you are trying to get a lot of men on the Internet to go with you and things like that. So he has been kind of, sl- you know... Use uh, what what do they call um, defaming your character and you you know um, uh, in this country would be um, would be considered um, what's it called libel or slanderous. I mean I think it's slander when it's spoken. Uh, but basically he's been saying a lot of bad things about you, and you haven't really exposed a lot about him, have you? No. So what? Um, I don't know. I mean, what what would you consider? What would you want uh, as a future uh, between you and him, like the relationships, or what what are your what are you hoping to? Uh... I told him, gave me the divorce. Yes. I'm return the child passport, and you can see, you can come and see our child anytime you want. He said, no, I want you back. I want to back as family, and now he's not coming because he wants to come and stay in my house, and I can't let him do that. He oh, can't... definitely, definitely not. You can't have him anywhere near you. I mean, you can't trust uh, what he will do. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I totally understand that. To be honest, um, because we've spoken before, I didn't want to get too involved in that side of things because I, I didn't know how comfortable you were. I was more, again, interested because a lot of people have been talking about Modine's homosexuality basically a lot of people have been suspecting that he does like um sort of homosexual acts he likes uh, ass and and batty you know the backside uh and also do you think that he went with a lot of prostitutes in morocco when he took the morocco trip of course man of course yeah is that is that the kind of thing he does when he goes on holiday like always like since he was 14 years old Wow, he's been going with prostitutes since he was 14 years old. Yeah, because his mom kicked him out here yeah, from the house when he was like 13. I see. And yeah. and he's just been, you know, used to having sex with prostitutes. Yes. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Um, and do you know why his mom kicked him out when he was so young? Because he was rude. Oh, I see. He was... He was Behaving badly. You know what? There is a woman 
uh, I can't even reach her because she blocked me a long time ago. She's one of his ex. She's from Iran. Her name is uh, Nili Habib. Okay. Nili Habib. He Nili used to be so bad before. Oh, sorry. We missed that. What would happen? He used to beat her. That's why she dumped him. Oh, okay. Okay. You see, this This is what I'm talking about. This is like a pattern of behavior. This is someone who does these things uh, well, all the but time. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank say you. again. There is this guy who called Nico Jack. He says that Mona wants YouTube fame. Well, first, first of all, Nico... If I want to be famous, I can do a lot of things like dancing, singing, uh, like exploring Iraq, a lot of things, yeah? Exactly. But trust me, I'm here to, to, to warn people about Mo. I don't want any fame. I want no money. I want nothing. I just want like three things. My son passport, my divorce paper, and people to watch out from Mo. That's it. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, and that is something you've been asking for for a very long time, that that you just want him to give you the full divorce papers, custody of your boy, passport, and then that's it. He's out. Yeah. Um, to be honest, um, that was the bulk of my inquiries. I just needed to, you know, I just wanted other people out there to kind of know the kind of man that they're dealing with. Because, to be honest, uh, it's been a long time that I've been thinking about um, how to expose Modine's behavior. Now, he comes across as a very funny guy, a very cheeky, chappy kind of thing. But underneath, I feel that this is a very sinister individual. Would you would you say that? Some, a person who's, who's, who's funny on the outside, but quite dangerous on the inside he is uh, yeah yeah this is uh, this is my thing um so um so what would you tell another woman who was saying to you you know i'm thinking about going out with modine what kind of advice would you give him give her don't sorry. trust him not even for one second but like, trust in what sense? That he would cheat on her or that he would beat her up or what sort of things? He will do a lot of horrible things to her. If she wants to sin, if she wants to obey him, if she wants to be the slave that he wants her to be. Okay, okay. Do you think he would do that to, to a woman in the United Kingdom? Because, like, in the UK, we have a lot of laws. Exactly. He so, won't do it in London. Okay, okay. So this, do you think this is why? Because apparently he was already he was in Tunisia or something recently. Did you know about that? I know, and he was with hookers, calling them wives. Oh, of course, he does a lot of motor marriage, right? Yeah. Ah, that's how he sort of gets rounded, I guess, in his own mind that all these prostitutes that he's going with are his wife for. The temporary time. Yeah. Yeah. He likes. I from what I what I've heard, he likes the mutter marriage a lot. That, he is that, he, Sorry. He do even when I'm his. Even when I used to be his wife by religion, like he used to even do mutta in London, in Morocco, like everywhere oh he God. goes. So, even when he was like committed to you. He would still yeah. do this. Yeah. So Modine, cheating. So cheating. That's cheating. called cheating. Of course, of course. I mean, when you're married, of course it's called cheating. But it seems that he doesn't really care. Um, that's uh, that's his thing. I mean, technically under Islamic law, though, he can marry four wives, but not without your permission, right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Um, is there is there any other other things you would like to talk to? I know it's very late, so I, I've already kept you twenty minutes. I don't want to really keep you very long. Was there anything no, else you'd like to talk about that 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 you'd like to say to the people? People say that I'm lying, and I'm 
attention seeker. I'm not. Well, I'm not. I'm just trying to get my right. I've been like going for it since 2015 December until now. He's not giving me any of my rights, not even the child passport. I told him I want nothing from you, but he want me to back to him by force. Well, yeah, I mean, um, that, yeah, that does seem, seem very unusual since you clearly don't want to be with him and he seems to love prostitutes. I mean, if you, if he divorces you, he would be free to, you know, go with prostitutes without any guilt. I, I, well, I guess he, he doesn't really have any guilt. He don't want to leave me because no one will marry him for real. But you know what? I forgot to mention this. He begged me. There was like a, a time he begged me, he begged me to let his friends come and sleep with me at the same time he does. He oh begged me God. for that. I swear in my life, I swear down. He wow. begged me for that for weeks. I wow. rejected him. And after I reje rejected him, he started telling people that I said, yeah, let, let your friends gangbang me and you get me to London. He oh, he wanted you to come to I London? Him, Sorry, to say again? Him. He said to me, let me bring my friends and sleep with you. He begged me for that for weeks. And I said no. And yes. I kept rejecting him. And after I told my family what he said, he started telling his friends that I said, let your friends gang bang me and you take me to London. Wow. So he actually said that if you have like a gang sex or group sex with you and Modine and his friends, he will then bring you to London. Yeah. Wow. That, that, Did that's... I mention that I had to change my number five times since 2012 until 2016? Okay. Was he calling you all the time? No, not him. He's a friend. They were asking me to have a group sex with them and him. Oh, At the same time. Oh my goodness. Wow. Do you know if these friends were all Muslim as well or I know them. You know them? I know them. Most of them those the cunts who defend him online. Oh wow. Wow. So these are the guys who actually come online to sort of defend his honor and they're the ones who were willing to have a group sex with another man's wife. Yeah, and he was saying that. And when I, when I asked him, why are you doing this? Why are you treating me like shit? He says, I'm Shia. You are Sunni. You are Nasabi. I'm allowed to do whatever I want to you because you are Nasabi. What's what's that? What does that mean? Nasabi, it means those who are against Ahl Bayt. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know who that is. Is that the it's Shia thing? It's a religion thing. Sorry? It's about a religion thing. Okay, okay. That's so it's like what? Are you it's not like is it like a coffer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he kind of said because you're like a coffer woman or something, you can do this group sex. Yeah, he thinks like uh, because I'm Sunni, he can treat me like shit. Oh, I see you're Sunni. He's Shia. Okay. But why would he marry a Sunni girl? I'm his relative, and I was in relationship with him for two years and a half before marrying him. Ah, okay, okay. Wow, wow, that is that is crazy. That is like, weirdly, this is like the most interesting story ever. This is the weird thing about this. Apart from the, the fact that I wanted to make a little joke about Modine and his his homosexual sort of behavior, but... This whole situation with you guys is is unbelievable that this is this is happening. This is like this is straight out of like a movie. <laughs> yeah. It's unbelievable that these kind of people exist. Uh, okay, okay, look, uh, Mona, thank you so much. I'm not going to keep you because it's 25 minutes and I know it's very late and um We'll hopefully we'll do this when you have more time and and it's earlier in the evening for you because I know, I know it's very late, and and hopefully we can talk about other things as well. But thank you, thank you so much for coming online. Uh, thank you for hosting me. Thank you a lot. Oh yeah, no, no, you are more than welcome anytime you want. I know other people at 
uh, Speaker's Corner, they don't want to expose Modi in this way because they're, I don't know, for some reason, they're still kind of friendly with him. I am actually not, uh, I, first of all, I don't care about Modine, but I'm actually more concerned about the women that Modine is always trying to pick up. I'm actually more worried about those women because I wanted this person to be exposed for the kind of things he does to women, the way he treats them, the way he beats them up. So thank you so much for confirming some of the suspicions that I had. Uh, and uh, and yeah, let's uh, let's talk at an earlier time next time. We'll we'll arrange something. Uh, have yourself a wonderful night. Thank you. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. Take care. Have a good night. Bye bye. 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 Okay. And and that's uh, that's uh, that's what we got, boys and girls. So um, that's how that went. Uh, okay. Well, I, uh, I just wanted to, you know, I, I, I didn't have a lot of time. I wanted to discuss these things with Mona when I could, uh, because, um, you just don't know when you get another chance to, um, to have these kind of conversations. I've been trying to get an opportunity, Mona said tonight, so I'm sorry about the, the suddenness of this. Um, but I think it was valuable, especially uh, to uh, to the people of the, the the women of Britain. I think this individual is deeply insidious. I think he covers it with the uh, with this sort of comical, cartoonish character of his. But I think he's a genuine danger to the women of this country. If any woman out there ever hears this and and you know, is thinking about or is involved with Modine in any way. Um, my only recommendation is get out, get out as soon as you can, because this man is not only a sex fiend, uh, clearly a, a fan of prostitutes, which actually makes him a, a, a very dangerous candidate for STDs, uh, but he's also a woman beater. He beats up women. And, you know, you heard it from his ex-wife. Uh, so, yeah, the galdom out in the world. <laughs> yeah, watch out, watch out, because this man could, his fist could be rearranging your face next if you're not careful. So please be careful if you're in any way, shape or form involved with this man. And as a public servant and a public service, as the Banksy ch channel is, I'd like to say thank you for Mona for being brave enough to still speak about this. Uh, and thank you for coming and listening. I'm sorry, guys, this is a very short one. I'm not entirely sure what else, uh, what else I can discuss. I, I don't want to, I don't want to prolong this stream. I wanted to remain sole focus on what I consider to be a somewhat of a dangerous individual in this country. Um, I think the women in this, in this, in the United Kingdom, especially in the London area, should simply be careful. Be careful. Don't uh, don't look at his comic, crazy antics. Recognize for the uh, for the extremely dangerous and and sinister individual that this person is. Have a good night, guys, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, and don't forget, tickle your ass with a feather, or maybe a creamy beige dildo <laughs> that Modine uses. <laughs> creamy beige. Creamy beige. I honestly thought it would be a big black one. Anyway, have a good night, guys. Ciao.